Over 2,000 personnel from 16 countries are participating in the NATO exercise, Steadfast Javelin II. The event provides the opportunity for military members to train in real-time battle environments at various locations across Europe. Um, basically what it's doing is demonstrating our ability to take a joint team and move the Army to project power anywhere in the AOR, uh, demonstrating their mission capabilities as like a rapid reaction force, um, anything they need to do to project that power forward to demonstrate that capability. Throughout the course of this two-week exercise, U.S., NATO allies, and European security partners are prepared to conduct unified land operations. It, it's, a, it's educational first and foremost because you get to learn what's important to them, things that you don't normally deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, things when we train at home we don't, you don't deal with the Army partners, it's always assumed, there's always assumptions made. Here you're dealing with them face-to-face -face and there's no assumptions. You ask them questions, they tell you what the requirement is and you tell them what you can do for them. You, you've definitely learned how to multitask, uh, work with the inner agencies and you have to be very flexible because not just how the Army does things, you have to understand how the Air Force does things, multinationals do things, all right, and then adjust your game plan off of that. Events like this one are necessary to maintain a strong working relationship with NATO partners and allies, enforcing our collective defense capability. Senior Airman Marvin Wigfall, Ramstein Air Base, Germany.